Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, the difference between field region, mask region, and also hatch pattern. Okay, so let's start. Um, so first, let's just create a project. Okay, so so currently we are in the floor plan. So uh, in um, let's go to annotate. Okay, so we can find the field region here. So under, so see this field region and mask region. So, so first let's talk about field region. Field field region is basically just a pattern, a detail. So you can have different patterns, okay, and it can only be placed in views in floor plans, in elevation section, or um, you can also create field region in drafting views. So basically, any views except 3D view. Okay, so, so let's go to 3D view. So you will see the field region, you, so it's gray out. So you won't be able to create any field region or uh, in the mask region as well. So let's go back to here. So now let's have a look of few regions. So basically, uh, you have the option. So um, uh, I can't remember from um, things I probably 2018 or something. So we have two patterns so previously if you're using very uh, old version of Revit there's only one pattern so you can only have one pattern okay so now you have you can have two patterns so for example how um, what you can do is for example you have this foreground pattern so this is uh, the cross cross hatch and you can also have a pattern so background pattern so for example you can also so for example, you can give it a solid color with a you know um, uh, a color, so it will be a a color with a foreground uh, pattern. Okay, so and also um, let's edit boundary. So for field region, you can also use all different line styles. So for example, you can have a, a dashed line. So see and also you can use invisible lines okay so okay and you can always change uh, between different field regions and also you will notice that there are some tr transpar transparent field regions well. so if I so for example if I draw a wall there so you can have a field region so the, which is transparent so can okay, you can see anything any model element behind this field region okay if you change this to an, a non-transparent so for example if i change it to this one or you can just go edit type so this is the option so masking so if you check the masking you won't be able to see any uh, model behind this and most of the time uh, and also just remember so field region any detail items or such as a uh, field region mask region they uh, will be placed um, ab above the model so if you have anything um, so for example walls so let me just move this down so if you have any walls doors floor, floors um, in your floor plan so that's a floor and then if you place a field region it will be always on top of any model elements okay so and you change it to transparent so you will still see um, um, you can see behind because it is a transparent so you won't have and um, the only I think the situation you won't have is have model in front of the field region because that won't happen okay so yeah i think that's that's it so um actually let me just uh 
，哦，系啊，嗯、um, ，yeah， so now next， next is mask 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 region， so let's just go create a new one， so masking region， 嗯、um, ，basically mask region is just a a fill region。It's white, solid white color, and non-transparent. So if so, for example, this is a mask region, right? So you can mask, you can place it uh, uh, in front of the model, and then you can also place them in front of other detail elements. So for example, uh, this view region. So um, and also you can actually, I think, so if I bring to front, so you can swap these. So you can have the view region in front of the mask region, or you can just Have the mask region in front of、uh, the fill region. Okay, so let me just do、uh, create another fill region. So this time I'm going to use、um, white.、Uh, there's no white. So let's just create a new one. So this this time I'll just duplicate. I'll call it white. Okay, solid. And then I'll use the solid fill. So currently, yeah, solid fill, and change this to white. So and then. And if, if I draw this one, and I think they are the same. So see, this is the fill region. This is mask region. So you can use this fill region to cover this mask region, or you can use mask region to cover the fill region. So yeah, I think I, so. The only thing different is with the mask region. So you won't be able to change this to other different.、Uh, Pattern because there's only one pattern, solid white. Okay, but use if you're using fill region, you can change you can change this to other fill region, and then you can change it back to this. So I prefer to use just use fill region. So in case at some stage I wanted to change change uh, uh change the color for example. Okay, so yeah, I think that's. That's it. So, and also you can you can just、um, you can for example you can go to elevation and you can draw fill region in elevation as well. So something like that. Okay. And then if you change change、um, to other patterns, so for example, like oops, like this.、Um, okay. So. I think that's that's it. So these this is a fill region and mask region. So the ne next I'm going to talk about the the pattern. So the、so、surface pattern. So this surface pattern, the difference between surface pattern and fill region and mask region is、um, Fill regions is a 2D element, and it it's it will on you will only be able to use it in 2D views. So, for example, floor plans, elevations, sections, or、uh, drafting views. And maybe you can, I think you can you can use it in legend as well. Yes, you can use legend. Uh, you can use fill region and mask re、uh, region in legend as well. So basically, they are all 2D views. But a surface pattern is used for model elements. Okay. So if you want to have some pattern on the, so for example, on this wall or on any of, so if I draw a, so let's, yeah. If I want to have some pattern on this floor, so you can't use fill region, mask region. You can only use a surface pattern. So let's have a look. So surface mat pattern. So you need to go to manage and material. Okay. So you can go to material straight away, or you can just go to this、uh, model element and edit type, and go to the material of this element. So, for example, this is、uh, the wall. So we we can see this. There are some patterns, and also you need to make sure. So, because、uh, looks like this wall, there's two different material on you know on on、uh, each on、oh, sorry, there are different materials on each side. So,、um, you need to make sure all、oh, which ones which. 
So for example, if I, uh, you can tell from, I think you can tell from, uh, if you go to ground floor, a floor plan, and when you select a wall, so this, let me just move them away. Okay, so, so for example, you select a wall, this symbol tells you this is ex external face. And then you go to edit type, edit, so exterior side. Okay, so which means this side, so cancel this, select this wall, this side, uh, and then the, we can go to this view, so elevation, go to elevation, so now I know this is the ex external exterior side. And then we can go select this wall, edit type, and edit this material. So for example, if I want to change the pattern of this, so you can just go to select uh, this material and change the surface pattern of this uh, material. So, so for example, this one. Um, I want to, so for example, change to different uh, masonry. And then I want to maybe uh, change this to a, a block work. And then you just need to click. And it's same, same to the field region. So, so you, you will have two, both a full, full ground and a background. So usually what you can uh, do is you can have some patterns. So for example, I'll just change this to a, you know, a block work. So maybe this one and, and, uh, and also have a, a background. So, so for example, a solid fill with a little, you know, gray color. And also if you want to, you can change the, this because if you use the same color, so you won't see anything. So it, you, you will only see, if I use this one, I'll show you. It will only show a solid, see? You won't see because the same um, color, so only shows when you select it. But so you what you can do is sometimes when you have a dark background for you know, uh, the material. So you can also use, choose a lighter color. So for example, you can use a white, okay? And then, and something like this. So this is surface pattern of uh, materials. So you can also, so for example, let's do this floor again. So you can just go to this floor. So currently there's no floor. Uh, let's just create a new material. Let's call it, um, I'll call it new floor. Okay, so and then you can just use. Uh, you don't have to use background for uh, all of them. You can just leave it a blank, and you can just have a pattern. So, for example, I'll uh, maybe I'll use uh, something like use a sand pattern uh, and apply. Okay, and okay, and okay, and then that's it. And also, I'll show you the difference between. Uh, drafting um drafting uh what's that Let, let's just go back drafting and the model okay so for if it's a drafting so you will see when i rotate the uh it's a little hard to no uh, yeah so see this pattern can you see the pattern when i rotate these pattern uh check um they they don't rotate with my model. They rotate, uh, they rel stay relative to the screen. So if I, can you tell? So this is drafting pattern. And this is model. So if I rotate this wall, so I'll select this wall. And when I rotate this wall, you will see this, this pattern stays uh, Deal um, relative to the wall. Okay, so what we can do. So for this one, I'll I'll, let, I'll show you another example. So if I change this to instead of this sand, sand. So let's uh, pretend this is some tiled tiled floor. So if we use drafting. So uh, for example, you. If we use uh, some pattern, I'm not sure how big that will be, but I'll just use this one. Apply, uh, maybe, uh, yep, yeah, I think that's okay. And now you will see the difference. So you will see it's it's not it's not correct, right? When when we when I if you go to ground floor a uh, uh, floor plan, it looks like okay, 
sometimes you in the floor plan you, you just uh, pick a pattern and you didn't you know um, if you don't if you don't um, you might just um, think it's it's good that, that that looks like a tile floor and and when I move it uh, it, it doesn't you know it, it's still okay and you think it's okay but when you go back to 3d view so you will see you can tell this is not right because this is a drafting drafting um, pattern okay so what you can do is you can just go edit type and change the pattern of this to instead of drafting change it to model and then with a model you can you can choose a correct size so actual size so for example 200 square and then you will see usually it will orient uh, it will be orient um, aligned to the model and if you do a dimension so let me just try to dimension it so if you dimension it that's 250 okay so of course in floor plan that's also correct so 250 um, yeah I think that's that's it surface pattern so and also another thing is drafting let me just actually let me just copy another one and I'll just duplicate this one and use uh, another another material so and this I'll use I'll compare I'll, I'll use the uh, maybe this one okay so and okay so now if I go to floor plan so you will see uh, where's my floor well, yeah so one of them so this one is drafting uh, pattern so this one is model and in the floor plan they look very similar okay so they, they look very similar but if you go to 3d view you will tell the difference right I'll select both of them oh no can you tell yeah and another thing is with the model model pattern you can adjust them you can move them so you will see you can move the pattern okay so you can rotate them okay you can align them you can align them so for example I want it tile to start from here but with drafting you can't do anything you can't do anything okay same so this pattern so I if I want to have a full brick here so you can just align that's it and if you want to full brick here so just align it yeah. Sorry. Sorry, that's my boy. Um, yeah, that's that's it. Um, okay, so that's it for today. And thank you for watching. I'll see you t see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.